Hey everyone, welcome to the Data Cloud Summit. Thank you for joining us for another on-demand session. Today we're going to be talking about secure data exchanges and data sharing with Analytics Hub. Before we get started, my name is Nikhil Gaikwad. I am a product management lead in BigQuery. Joining me is Susan Pierce. Susan's going to kick us off. Susan, over to you. Thanks, Nikhil. My name is Susan Pierce, and I'm an outbound product manager for data analytics here at Google Cloud. Sharing data is essential to fostering a data-driven culture. An increasing number of our customers have started treating data as an asset, whether it's a monetized resource or as a product shared among internal teams. Over the last two years, we've seen that businesses need to pivot more quickly, and to do this, they need more access to reliable first and third-party data. Leveraging data outside your own organization leads to higher levels of collaboration and innovation. Here at Google Cloud, our data sharing strategy encompasses three areas that we're going to talk about today. Our analytics suite of tools that are built with collaboration in mind, private and public data exchanges, and a robust ecosystem of par partner offerings. We'll all touch on all three of these here in this session. BigQuery is a powerful analytics platform that sits at the center of our portfolio. BigQuery makes it incredibly easy to exchange data between organizations and has had cross-organizational in-place data sharing capabilities since the beginning. For example, we took a look at recent usage metrics in BigQuery and found that over a seven-day period, over 4,500 different organizations were sharing over 250 petabytes of data. And these numbers don't include data sharing between departments within the same organization. As you can see, data sharing in BigQuery is already popular, but we wanted to make it easier and even more scalable to give our customers the ability to create their own data exchanges. Thank you, Susan. We're super excited to introduce Analytics Hub as part of the overall data analytics portfolio in Google Cloud. Analytics Hub is a new fully managed service that enables you to efficiently and securely exchange valuable data and analytic assets across organizational boundaries. With Analytics Hub, we're building a rich data ecosystem where you can publish and subscribe to data that is analytics ready. And because the data is shared in place, data providers can really control and monitor how that data is actually being used. Analytics Hub also provides a self-service way for you to actually find valuable and highly trusted data sets across a variety of data providers. And this includes data that's been published by Google. And finally, Analytics Hub also provides you an opportunity to monetize on your data sets. We've heard from many customers that have really valuable data assets, and they actually want to go monetize on it. But they don't want to deal with the infrastructure that's required for them to actually go commercialize that data and deliver it to their customers. With Analytics Hub, we're building a single platform that helps you to efficiently deliver that data to your customers and monetize on your data assets. Analytics Hub is actually built on top of BigQuery. And this is our cloud scale data warehouse that has all the goodness of being highly available, durable, and secure. The reason we build this on, on top of BigQuery is to take advantage of the separation that we get from storage and compute. So as a data provider, when you bring your data into BigQuery, the only cost that you incur is storing that data. And as a data subscriber, when you're subscribing to data sets, the only cost that you would incur is the queries or jobs that you're running on top of that data. Analytics Hub also lets you take advantage of all the other features that is part of BigQuery. So if you want to provide your data or consume your data in real time, you can certainly take advantage of some of the streaming capabilities. You can also leverage some of the built-in tools, such as machine learning, geospatial, or natural language capabilities in BigQuery, and use that as part of your overall analysis in Analytics Hub. And finally, if you want to take advantage of some of the integrations that we have with BI tools such as Looker, Google Sheets, and Data Studio, all that will be easy as part of the Analytics Hub platform. The way that we're making data sharing easier and more scalable through Analytics Hub is by introducing the concept of shared data sets. You can think about shared data sets as a contract between data publishers and subscribers. 
So as a data publisher, you bring your data into BigQuery and you define the collections of tables and views that you want to deliver to your users. On the subscriber side, when you subscribe to a shared data set, you get what we call a linked data set that's created within your project. This looks like any other data set within your project, but it's read-only. So you can join it with any other data that you have to create shared insights. But of course, you can't modify or change that data. A single shared data set can have hundreds or even thousands of linked data sets, and that's how this is scalable. This is live data, so if the publisher modifies that data, creates new objects, that gets immediately reflected within that linked data set. To make it easier for data publishers to keep track of how their data is being used, we're adding usage metrics. Usage metrics allows you to see aggregate usage information on the shared data sets. For example, you'll see which tables are being queried more frequently, how many rows or amounts of data, is being queried by the subscribers. While shared data sets in BigQuery are the foundation of Analytics Hub, Exchanges is how we scale and provide self-service access to data. Listings for Analytics Hub are published into Exchanges. With Exchanges, you don't really need to explicitly grant access to every single user or group to get access to the shared data set. Instead, subscribers will have a self-service way to browse across and discover all the data that's available and is published to them. When you publish data into an exchange, there's no copying of that data. You're providing a reference to the shared data set along with some metadata and descriptive information that will help the subscribers find and use your data. By default, exchanges are completely private which means only the users and groups that you provide access to will be able to view or subscribe to that data itself. However, you can have public exchanges or even commercial exchanges depending on your use case. Again, the exchange administrator is the one that determines who gets access to that data and provides the membership and visibility for that exchange itself. And lastly, when subscribers look for data, they browse or search across all the exchanges that they have access to, providing them a uniform and a single experience to discover and subscribe to shared data sets with an analytics app. And now let's see how all of this comes together. Starting on the left, as a data publisher, essentially you bring your data into BigQuery and you create these shared data sets that you want to share with your subscribers. You publish your shared data sets as listings into Analytics Hub within exchanges, whether that's a private exchange or a public exchange, depending on your use case. And on the right, as a subscriber, when you come into Analytics Hub, you search across all the listings that you have access to. Once you find the listing that you're interested in, you subscribe to it, which then creates a corresponding linked data set within your own project. You can use this linked data set to either combine it with other data or just query that linked data set to generate new insights. Now, let's take a look at how we're actually building out the ecosystem within Analytics Hub. Over to you, Susan. You saw that Analytics Hub makes it easy for you to publish, discover, and subscribe to valuable data sets that you can combine with your own data to derive unique insights. Whether it's an internal data exchange where different departments and lines of business can share data products across teams, or a private exchange among corporate entities and affiliates, it's easy to publish and subscribe to first-party data. We have an ecosystem of public data sets published through Analytics Hub of valuable weather, health, financial, and other data that you can use to augment your own data. And we also offer the ability to publish your own commercial data sets if you want to monetize your data assets. Finally, we publish Google-owned data sets that aren't available anywhere else. We're excited to announce the availability of the Google Trends data set. This is the same data that you would see on the Google Trends website, but in a queryable form. We are providing the top 25 search terms and top 25 rising terms over a five-year window in 210 distinct DMA locations, and we recently rolled out international data sets for Google Trends as well. Trends data can be used by everyone in the organization to gain insights into what customers care about. In addition to the unique Google data that we are bringing to Analytics Hub, we're also partnering with Crux Informatics to accelerate access to data on Analytics Hub 
Data providers across finance, geospatial, retail, and more are all bringing their data to BigQuery and delivering it through Analytics Hub. We are committed to expanding this rich ecosystem of partner data sets and will be adding to it regularly. We've talked through a few examples of our data strategy and practice, but let's see how this comes together within Analytics Hub. All right, now let's see how easy it is to create secure data exchanges, publish listings, and subscribe to data sets within Analytics Hub. In this example, now that we're in March Madness, imagine that I have a NCAA data set that I want to share with my subscribers. The first thing that I want to do is create the data exchange. For me to create this, I would go into Cloud Console, go into BigQuery, and locate Analytics Hub. Once I'm in Analytics Hub, I can go ahead and create the exchange. I give this exchange a friendly name. And immediately what you can do is set permissions to who the administrators are, who the publishers, subscribers, and viewers of these listings are. In this example, we have a separate user that will be publishing data into this exchange. So we'll grant them access. We also have a separate user that will be subscribing to this listing. So we'll also grant them access. And finally, we'll set the permissions. Once this is complete, you can see that this exchange has been created. And now let's flip over to the publishers project to actually publish the NCA data set into this exchange. And now you'll see that I'm in my publishers project. And as a publisher, I want to be able to create a listing for my NCA data set. For me to go do that, I'll need to go into the exchange and click on create a listing. Once I start the listing creation process, I can give more information about the data set that I'm publishing. So I'd give this NCA data set a name, primary contact, and select the category since this belongs to sports. I'll select the sports category. This really allows the actual subscriber to filter down to the listing that this particular data set belongs to. You can add an icon. And most importantly, you can go select the NCA data set that you want to go publish and do this exchange. In this case, I already have a data set for the NCA data in my publisher's project that I'm sharing with my subscribers. And of course, you have the flexibility of adding your own documentation using the Markdown feature. So using the Markdown syntax, I've added some documentation that provides some descriptions to my subscribers on what this data set's about. Once I'm done filling up this Create Listing form, I hit Save. And that's it. My listing has been created. Now I can actually dive into this listing. And this is how my subscribers will be able to see the listing that I've just created. Now that we've seen how easy it is to create an exchange and publish my listing in Analytics Hub, let's go over to the subscriber project to explore all the data sets that are available for me and subscribe to a listing. For me to subscribe to data sets that are published into Analytics Hub, I can go to Add Data. Explore Analytics Hub. And here I have a seamless experience for me to browse through all the listings that I have access to. I can filter these listings based on the categories or publishers or providers that I'm interested in. In this case, let me search for the unique data set that's been published into Analytics Hub from Google, which is Google Trends. Once I search and find the data listing that I'm interested in, I can click on Add Data Set to Project. This will then create the linked data set within my subscriber project. Give this a friendly name and hit Save. 
And immediately you'll see that I have the Google Trends data set within my subscriber project. Again, this is a linked data set, which is not a copy. It is a read-only symbolic link to the shared data set that sits within the Google project. The next thing I can do is, of course, query it. So if I want to run a query on the top terms that are trending currently, I can go in and run a query. And immediately, I can certainly see the results of the top trending terms right now. As you can tell, a lot of this is related to the NCAA March Madness that are happening uh, across the United States. And that's it. Now I'm subscribed to this data set with an analytics hub. Any updates to this data set gets immediately reflected every time I run this query. And with that, you can see how simple and seamless we've made it for publishers to go share data with an analytics hub and subscribers to go in and access really highly valuable and trusted data sources within a single platform. The next steps are for you to go try it out. Now that Analytics Hub is in public preview, go to your cloud console or user APIs to create your exchange and start sharing data with your partners and customers. Till next time, thank you.